Okay, sub-level 8. What could be on this sub-level of sub-level... Oh, is that Boldman? It's Boldman! Oh, goody! I haven't seen Boldman in, like, a while. Oh! Hey there, Boldman buddies! What's up? You wanna die? I bet you do. <laughs> Oops, I dropped purples on you. Hope you don't mind. Yeah, see, the purple Pikmin are just so highly abusable. It's not even funny! And it looks like we have the opportunity to change them into red Pikmin, but do I want to do that? Like, really, do I want to do that? I have a sneaking suspicion there's something else on this floor, but I don't know what. Oh, uh, but how many red Pikmin do I have? I'm honestly tempted to get more blue Pikmin, but at the same time, I mean, they're giving me the chance to get red Pikmin, so... I might as well take it! And honestly, oh well, hello there, Mr. M um, Doodlebug. Hey there. Haven't seen you in, like, forever. Uh, I suppose I will take care of you since I have the chance. But yeah, this guy <laughs> attacks by farting, which I find incredibly silly, but, you know, he drops a ton of stuff. Like, see, he dropped two bitter sprays. That's pretty amazing, actually. But whatever, let's just go down the hole. Down the hole we go! Oh yes, the hole is being traversed in a downward vertical direction. So anyway, it looks like sub-level 3 is actually not sub-level 3 because it's sub-level 9, but I will see you here later, next time, whatever, Bye bye Hi, I'm Game Guy. it's time for more Let's Play Pikmin, we're still in the hole of heroes. Oh yeah, I forgot to say Pikmin 2. This isn't Pikmin. Man, if this was Pikmin, this would be, like, the craziest first game in a series ever. Like, seriously. I bet there's nothing behind this wall. Why am I even bothering? Like, seriously, there's never anything behind these random walls. Furthermore, I don't like what's over on the other side of this wall. I really don't, okay? I have a feeling this is going to be one of those occasions where I'm going to want to use a spicy spray of some kind. Unfortunately, Mr. Sleepy Pants right there is going to probably wake up like the second this wall is down, so I might want to run away. This is one of those occasions where I'm going to guess that using Purple Pikmin would be highly recommended. Um, this bull bear is probably going to come over here, I bet. You going to come over here, buddy? Going to come over here? Going to come over here? Okay, I'm going to throw Purple Pikmin on your face. I'm going to throw Purple Pikmin on your face, all right? All right, oh, bitter spray. Because quite frankly, I don't trust you, all right? I've got enough bitter sprays. This this is just a good thing to do, you know? Oh. So, yeah, see, this is one of those things where, like, purple Pikmin are highly abusable, but at the same time, they're fine, you know? Because this, this hole is kind of crazy. It's getting really to the point where it's just getting a little on the difficult side here. Now, I actually did lose a Pikmin. Where did I lose that Pikmin at? Uh, I think it was actually a white Pikmin, too, because now that I think about it, I remember seeing the, the little poison thing. Whatever. Uh, the little bull bears are going to try to kill me, but they won't do a thing, because they're down on the ground, and I'm not. And I'm going to kill Mr. Fuzzy Pants, because he is a Fuzzy Pants, and he does not deserve to be fuzzy. Uh, yes, I will kill you guys. Killing is what I do. Maybe we're supposed to die, but okay. I wish this guy would die guy. I really do wish that guy would die guy, because he just needs to die. Uh, this, this other sleepy pants can sleep the night away while I kill him. Man, where is the treasure? There, I don't I, I don't readily see it, which worries me a bit. It's not trying to carry it. I just don't want you guys to fall in that hole. I bet anything, actually, now that I think about it, that the fiery Bullblax has it. That would not surprise me in the least, because it's probably the hardest thing in this area to actually kill. I bet it, yeah, you know what? It makes sense now, because they gave us red Pikmin for a reason. So, let's kill these bull bears so that they're out of the way. And, go over here. Uh, there's probably nothing on that wall to bother with. I guess. Alright, now unlike what I did in the last hole, what I'm gonna do here is quite simply use a bitter spray, because I should have done that in the first place. I mean, what was I thinking? What in the world was I thinking? Alright? 
clearly I wasn't thinking logically. Alright, let's get some nectar real fast, guys. Guys and gals of the Pikmin species. Let us get the nectar, alright? Nectar is quite delicious, wouldn't you agree? Okay, now we can get this little uh, hook thingy. I don't... It's like a can opener or something, I don't know. Out of morbid curiosity, I will indeed break down this wall, though, because you never know. There could be something useful here. There could be. Could be like a little nectar egg thing falling from the sky, maybe? I guess not. It never is. So yeah, we got a can opener. It can open cans and stuff. Dimensional slicer. Oh yeah, that doesn't sound scary at all. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Not a single bit of that ever sounded any scary at all. What am I talking about? I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. We're going down the hole. Okay. Now, sub-level 10. We finally reached double digits. I don't know if that's happened before or not. But man, this area has gas. Um, and is that an Emperor Bulblax? What in the world is going on here? Uh, that's not a good place for you to be, Mr. Emperor. Mr. Emperor, would you like to come out and play? You're, like, facing the wrong way. Hey, I'm throwing Pikmin on your back? Well, that's not good. Uh, hey, bitter spray. Hey, 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 hey. Stop it! The Pikmin are, like, drowning in the gas because, for whatever reason, this is not, obviously, a good strategy. Pikmin, run away. Run away. Run away. Lure him away from the gas because that is obviously a bad place to be. Ah, uh, that was stupid. And a half. Okay, well, thank you for eating some of my white Pikmin, mister. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. How am I doing? All right. I lost a few purples, but that's okay. Uh, since the music is still playing, I bet that means there's more. In fact, I know there's more. Um... This one obviously has the treasure. Is he facing the wrong way again? Holy matites! I don't know where you guys came from, but you're honestly not very helpful. This is not a good place for you to be panicking. I don't know where the rest of you are. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Stop it. Alright, you know what? You know what, Mr. Emperor Bulblax? You know what? I don't care. Yeah, alright. You, you jump in place, okay. Hey now, you weren't supposed to do that, and you weren't supposed to do that! You jerk face! Whoa, 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 since are you able to do that? Since, since are you able to do that? What? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Will you just die? Like, seriously, die. I'm not in the mood to be fighting with you, Mr. Bulblax. Okay? Seriously, you've, like, killed a bunch of my Pikmin now. Alright. Alright! Oh, crap. You know what? I just remembered something that I believe is in this hole that I gotta prepare for. Oh, dear. I wish I'd remembered this beforehand. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha Anyway. We got something. I'm not sure what it is. It's a Nintendo block! Does this look familiar? Treasured gyro block. Uh-oh. I sense a theme coming! I just hope I can make it through this hole without losing too many Pikmin, because quite honestly, I've lost enough already. I have. I really have. Today's creature of the day is the dwarf bull bear. These little guys are quite ferocious and ferocious, and they will try to eat your Pikmin like crazy. Oddly enough, these guys actually aren't bread bugs. They are really bull bears, like in dwarf form. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. You, you thought everybody was a bull was, was a, a bread bug, but apparently not. These guys will follow around the adult bull bears, though, which actually makes the bull bears a much greater threat. Because these guys will pick off any little Pikmin that are trying to take down the bigger bull bear. So, yeah, you might want to be careful. Although, alone, these guys die just as easily as any other little dwarf bull type thing. Just throw Pikmin on right on top of them. 
You wouldn't think Pikmin would be heavy enough to cause that much damage, but... I don't know. 